Hey guys, in my last video we started looking at objects in JavaScript and I created an object called my car which is basically a car and I gave it some properties which so it's a red BMW with a height of 150 centimeters of course and a weight of 1000 kilograms now I have no idea whether that's realistic or unrealistic because I'm not really good with cars but that's not really important so I'm just going to move on now I also assign it some methods uh, some stuff you can do with your any, with any car which is like decelerate, accelerate, stop which is bring your brakes on, uh, turn right and turn left and so on. Now in this video what we're going to do is we are going to use string as an example of an object to actually start accessing your the properties and methods. Okay so let's delete this because I don't need it anymore and uh, we are going to use a string as an example of a built-in object in JavaScript to access uh, properties and methods. Now let's start off with properties. Now, uh, what do you, let's say, let's uh, let me write the syntax first. What we're going to do is uh, uh, what do you call it? Access the property of your uh, JavaScript object. So you have your object name, which normally is a variable name for your object. So like var, I don't know, uh, text equals hello, and text is your object name. So object name dot property name is the syntax for accessing the property of the object. Now the property name are already built in. And I, in this video, I'm going to uh, look at one of them. Okay, so let's create, let's uh, comment this out because it might be useful. Okay, now uh, let's create a text, a variable text called I don't know. Let's go back to hello world, like so. Oops. Okay, and uh, let's say let's say. Uh, text dot which is object name dot and property name is going to be length now what that does is uh, it tells you the length of your uh, object so in this case this has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 does it count I think it's 12 so in this case it counts the number of your string inside your variable or your object and it's going to give it back to you so let's create a variable so var uh, I don't know uh, text length equals text dot length and let's uh, document dot write that out document dot write uh, text length like so and let's save our work and refresh there we go it's 12 that is because uh, what the property does is it gives you the length of your string inside your variable so it's h is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 which is why uh, the length of your object in this case the text is 12 which is why uh, when I said document right text length it gave me back 12 so that is one of the example of accessing uh, properties in your object okay now let's uh, delete this and quickly uh, look at objects it's uh, really similar to accessing properties so uh, you have your object name and then you have a dot again and you have a method name okay and in this case your method name is going to have like a function uh, what do you call it uh, brackets like so now uh, in this example we are going to be looking at the object called uh, the built-in object string like the property one and we are going to change all the text inside the string to uppercase using a method called uh, to uppercase okay so uh, why did I delete that let's just write var text equals hello world again like so and then let's just uh, say document dot write text for now and let's refresh and there we go we have normal hello world text h and w is in uppercase but all of them are in the lowercase like I stated now 
uh, let's give it some space in the middle and what we're going to do is use this syntax to say text which is object name dot to upper case case what this does is change everything inside this variable text to uppercase okay so let's say uh, the new text equals text dot uh, to uppercase so uh, let's change this inside the document dot right to new text and let's save our work and try refreshing it there we go now everything inside or all the text or string inside the text uh, the variable called text god it's complicated i should have changed this variable name okay uh turned into uppercase because of the method to uppercase okay the property basically gives you back the property of your uh object like how long it is or how many word they are or how many letter o they are and so on and the method actually changes the uh, object to something else in this case it changed all the uh, string or the text inside to uppercase so that is uh, object properties and object methods in javascript now in my next video we will be creating our own uh, javascript objects not string not uh, number we are going to be creating our own uh, customized or uh, we're going to define and create my our own uh, objects in javascript and give it some methods and properties so look forward to that